Hello friends, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're all doing great. Well, if you're new here, my name is Anne and I wish to welcome you to IEN Facts Canada. Today we are looking at NNAS application, uh, account creation, as well as the documentation that we need to prepare for uh, expended services. Before we dive in, I kind of want to request that you may subscribe if you have not subscribed and you're getting value from our videos, please subscribe and share and like and comment in the comment section. So let's do this. So we're going to open a Google search on our browsers and type in NNS and then we're going to open this page here, which will take us to NNAS homepage. And here you'll find that NNAS has also applied the new uh, changes to their website. And now we have expanded services link. And this is where we are going to open up and be able to find out what we need for this application. So here we have an overview of expanded service explained from start to the end and they have also added a few other uh, provinces or regulatory bodies in addition to New Brunswick we have Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Prince Edward Island and we have Newfoundland and Lablando and uh, they have all the steps here all the way they have also answered a few questions here but what i want us to do is to check out the expedited applicant handbook this is where we are going to find the detailed information and instruction of what we need for this application so in this uh, handbook um it has all the um the information NNAS explained, nursing in Canada explained, all the terms that you need to uh, to know or understand, uh, the Canadian nursing professions, uh, you will be able to find them here. And here we're going to find out who is eligible to apply to NNAS expanded services. So this is not for everyone. So it is only for those provinces uh, that I mentioned earlier. So if you have completed a post-secondary um, nursing education program in the university or college outside of Canada, um, or you have been licensed as a nurse outside of Canada, or you are applying for the licensure as an RN or APN with a regulator who is participating in the expanded services so if you are one of those then you can go ahead and apply to nnas so your responsibility uh, uh, it's to agree to the terms and condition give consent to nnas and third parties who are going to be handling your document and then you're going to complete the application process so here uh, we're going ahead and we have the document checklist and basically this is what we need uh, all the documentation that we need for this application we need two forms of notarized identification and depending on where you came from or, the, or your country uh, you'll be able to find a notary public who are going to certify your identification documents uh, or anyone who is legally authorized to certify your document there are true copies of the original so you are going to do that and then uh, we are going to need your current uh, nursing license and your first nursing, li nursing license um, and here um, you are going to need your licensing body to send this information to NNAS Direct. You're going to find out how in just a few minutes. And then the last thing you need is your course by course education credential assessment. 
this is something new which was not there before and i think that's why this process is very very short if you're going to have your course by course education done um, by another body rather than nnes then this is uh, what makes this process very very short so we are going to find out who is also approved for Canada to do credential assessment so here we have all the steps that we need to follow to have this account done and run and running so they have given us um, a run through of what we need to do to have our account created so you're going to provide an email address answer three questions read and agree to the terms and conditions enter security code and then you create your new password and then you start your application and then number two you're going to uh, complete application form so there is a form for you to complete and then you upload your identity documents and remember we said your document must be notarized um, and we have acceptable forms of photo ids that is a passport a driver's license or any other form of government issued photo id and e at and if for any reason you have your name changed then you also required to submit your birth certificate, a legal name change document or affidavit, or a marriage certificate or a divorce decree. So um, we said your document must be notarized. And then something else here is document translation. So if your documentation is not in, in um, English or French, then you will need to have your document translated and these services you can get them from um, NNES of course it's a fee or any other approved institution or probably your college or university can be able to do the same thing or find a certified translator to do that job for you so the other thing is to um, submit or to request a course by course a credential assessment report to be sent to NNES. So you're going to apply uh, for, for your course by course to either the bodies that are authorized or approved to do a credential assessment. And we have quite uh, a number of them. So we have the World Education Service West. We have Comparative Education uh, Service that is uh, says we have International Credential Assessment Service, ICARS, International Credential Evaluation Service, ICES, or International Qualification Services, that is ICARS. And those are the ones that are approved for Canada. I remember I did mine uh, with World Education Services, that is WES, for my immigration. And they were very very fast actually i think within seven days i had gotten my report so um depending on what you choose you can go for either of the approved services uh number five is to re uh, request your required document from your third party and that is your licensing authority also going to find um a registration form so you're going to download that form uh, from your account portal and that's the one that you're going to send to your uh, your nursing licensing authority so the other thing is to monitor the status of uh, your application and this is very important because sometimes you might find NNES uh, needs a certain document or they are requesting you to do uh, something or they need um, anything that they may be uh, they may want to request from you or from your uh, licensing body it's very important to keep checking the status of your application and they have all the uh, the status um, uh, explained over here 
So waiting for required documents, if they requested additional documents from your licensing body, so this is how your status will be reading. So if um, your documentation is complete and they don't need anything else, then they have gone through your uh, application and everything is good, then your status will be reading ready for review. And then once your uh, application reaches the final stage, then you're going to find your status also changes to ready for a final review. And then the last thing you're going to find is the report issued. And this uh, shows you that your advisory report is already out and you can be able to access it. Okay, so once your advisory report is ready, you can download that and send it to your regulatory body of your choice. So here we have the fee schedule for this application. So if you're applying for RN and LPN application, I think they just do them concurrently. Um, so you're going to pay 750 Canadian dollars. If at any point you want to reactivate your expired account, you can go ahead and pay 240 Canadian dollars and you're going to have your uh, account activated. Then your document translation. Remember I said if you want NNS to do that, they can do it for a fee and it's 115 Canadian dollars per page. And if you need to make any appeal to NNAS, if your appeal is successful, then you're going to get a refund. But if your uh, appeal is not successful, you're not going to get a refund. And if you have to, it's 500 Canadian dollars. So we also have an address of where to send your uh, your documents or where your third parties are going to send your document and mostly is your licensing body so we have the mail and we have the courier and they are just right here so you can go ahead and access it if you need to reach the NNES they have their phone number and their email there so you can go ahead and reach them so if you have any difficulties completing the process, they also have a navigator and we have their, their email here. So you can give them uh, a shot and they will be able to answer your question or take you through the application process. All right, so here we got all the information that we require for NNES application. And so we are going to head back to our home page and create an account so right here we are going to go to the login and apply so that's where we are going to open and it's going to bring us to this window here so if you already have an account this is where you come this is where you put your email address and your password if you don't have any account, then you create an account. So we are going to go ahead and create an account. So anything with a red asterisk, it needs to be uh, to be filled out. So we are going to input an email address and please make sure you use a reliable email address because they're going to send you a code and then answer the security question. So here you're going to create your own. So you're going to choose a security question and give an answer and something that you can be able to remember. So first question is, what is your favorite vacation spot or what is your place of birth? So you can choose either of the questions and then um, answer here. So uh, answer, and then the second question is, what is your mother's maiden name? What is your pet's name? What was the name of your first school? So you can choose either of the questions and give an answer to that question. And then uh, 
in what city does your nearest sibling live or what is the name of a college you applied to but didn't attend or what is the first album or cd that you purchased you can choose either of the three questions and then give an answer and once that is done then you're going to agree to the terms and conditions here. So you're going to read all that and you're going to click here uh, to signify that you accept all the terms and condition and then accept. So once you accept, you're going to receive a message uh, that directs you to your email. So you're going to open up your email address where you uh, the email address that you gave and then you're going to find a link uh, with the code so you're going to open up that link and then uh, you're going to set your password so you're going to set your password and confirm your password then you're going to go back to the home page and log in so once you log in there you got your account and then you can submit your document if you have them ready and then you can um, await um, you can check if the forms are ready to be downloaded then you can download uh, the form and yeah and you are ready to go okay so that's how you create your account and that's all that you need for this account creation all right my friends there you have it um, so you can just go ahead and create your account and start your application if you have any question please drop it in the comment section I'll try to answer as much as possible um, to the best of my knowledge thank you so much for watching see you in our next video